Okay, hey guys, welcome to this step-by-step -step walkthrough of um, this Disney case study. So what we're looking at is a data set that just has a lot of online reviews. Uh, I think they were originally from TripAdvisor uh, that people left from yeah, visiting the Disneyland theme parks. Um, the data set we're, we'll be looking at specifically um, has been cleaned up and prepped and so that it's just we'll just be looking at California. Um, we could look at uh, three parks altogether, but it just makes more sense um, to just look at one specifically since our objective in this case study is just to look at, um, yeah, what's the, the two main things are what's primarily mentioned in um, negative reviews that could be um, areas of improvement and then what's primarily mentioned in the positive rev reviews that so the parks seem to be doing well and either they keep doing it or um, they can continue. So basically trying to just recommend uh, business strategies based off of what people are saying about the parks and how they're feeling about it. So the primary tool we're going to be using for this is the good old SAS Enterprise Miner because um, they have a few text mining tools in there. Um, so yeah, we can just go ahead and get right into this. So, yeah, so we'll start. You're gonna make, wanna make sure you have the right file for this because SAS is pretty particular with how um, it reads the data. So I had to mess with this a lot. So just make sure that um, you're using the data source that's included on the case study document or hopefully I can just put it on the discussion board. Um, but it's, yeah, it's going to be the SAST DL California, the Excel version of it too, because even if it's CSV, then it still doesn't know what it's doing. So um, try and make sure you have the right uh, data, data set for this uh, project. And then, yeah, you're um, going to be using the file import node and doing all that to get the data set into uh, Enterprise Miner. Um, and so, yeah, as long as all that's ready, uh, then... From there, we would create a new diagram. We can call this the Disney case study uh, and then we'll go ahead right away and throw the data set in there and then what you want to gonna do real quick we don't have to mess too much with the uh, defaults that are gonna be in here, but uh, you are going to want to change the variables. That's very important. Otherwise, again, yeah, it'll just be all messed up as you go through. So the branch, this can just be rejected. That's irrelevant. Um, the rest for month and year is going to be an input at nominal. Rating is going to be our target. And rating and rev uh, sorry, rating and review text is going to be our really the only ones that we really use. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have that set at ordinal as well. Review ID is ID and nominal as well. Um, actually, we can change that to ordinal. Not that it should matter, but text is gonna be. Make sure it's at text and nominal, and then text text location. Yeah, so that everything else looks good to go. Um, you can click OK, and then we'll run that node. I don't know if we really need to do this, but um, yeah, we can just run it. And then the next step we're going to end up doing is, or the, the first thing you really do in almost any, uh, with any text mining, I guess, in this application is uh, you start out with text parsing. So we can grab that from the top and make sure you go into text mining tools up here. It's going to be the one with the magnifying glass. So just put that in there. You can connect them. And I don't believe we need to change any of these defaults, so you can just run that as is. Um, actually, and just do make sure, I guess, that the variables are still right because it likes to change them. Um, so yeah, actually for this, yeah, we do have to change it. We're going to change that to no because that's going to be irrelevant. And then review text to yes. And then make sure that's good. And then we can run it. Um, if, yeah, if you try to let it see if it can understand the review location, it, it just doesn't. So definitely do that so you don't trip up with that. Um, but yeah, so this node is basically gonna 
prep our data for the analysis and the insights that it's going to give us later on. Um, it just takes all that raw text data that's in all of the reviews, which is just thousands and thousands of uh, words, and then uh, it's going to tell us, uh, start to form associations in them and give us terms that are most common. And um, yeah, it provides a few valuable insights, but nothing really too special. Um, so once that's done running, we can check the results for it real quick. But um, yeah, you won't really find anything too eye-opening until after this step. Awesome, so now we have our results screen here. Um, so yeah, this kind of just tells you how many noun verbs. It tells, it tells you what types of words, I guess, or the, yeah, what types of words are in there. Um, and then this uh, chart here, this table, tells you how often certain words come in, and then it also starts to group terms together. So something like ride is gonna be grouped. Uh, it counts anything, anytime the, the um, parsing finds the word ride, it's gonna group it with things like ride or rides, or maybe even riding. Um, I don't know why it's not opening, but that's yeah, basically what it does. Um, so yeah, we can close out of that. And then our next thing is gonna be a text filter. So we'll throw that in here. Connect that. Um, and don't mind this, uh, the, my SAS Enterprise Manager doesn't ever do these right. It just does its own thing, so. Um, in here, we don't have to change any of the settings, so we'll just use the defaults. We'll run that. Okay, it looks like all, that's all done now. So we can um, check out the results of that real quick. Um, basically, this node is going to group similar terms together and then decides uh, which terms it should keep or drop. Um, and yeah, basically kind of figure out, figures, tries to figure out which terms are gonna be valuable or invaluable for our future or further analysis. Um, so words like be, have, or not, they're not really gonna tell us anything specific about the reviews, so they're gonna be dropped. Um, but then other words like the parks or rides, that's gonna be kept. Um, and yeah, this, these just kind of show you what's being dropped and kept in there. Um, the more helpful thing that you can find in here is if you close out of the results and then you'll go down to here um, and go into the filter viewer of the results. Sorry, I have to do this for that to actually work. So yeah, you'll click it, go down to results, the, click the little semicolon thing, or not semicolon, the dots, whatever, <laughs> uh, in filter viewer. Okay. So now that we have that, um, here's where you can actually expand the term and see what's in there. So just Disneyland and Disneyland, that makes sense to group those together. Um, what we can do, so here's the word love. Like, let's see, we can try and maybe see, okay, what are people talking about, about things that they love? Um, so you can view the concept link and right click it and click, yeah, view concept links. And probably like 30 minutes later it'll open, there it is. Um, and so this will just give you words that are uh, closely grouped and close or related with it. Um, so we have things like princess, stay, mansion, first, gate, sit. And these might be different because it likes to do different things all the time. But um, we can see like, okay, maybe if is there specific princesses that are mentioned in um, that people, that the guests love, that they talk about. And so you can double click that and then after it freezes for a while and... Yeah, there we go. Um, so it's Cinderella. It's, it's, it has to be probably a big one, and then it's good. It's they can get to meet them, so they like to actually go see them rather than maybe just seeing them in a parade or um, in a show. And then daughter, obviously, is, yeah, not too surprising. So you can dig into this even more and more, um, and you can start to find some some good insights from that of terms that are just yeah commonly mentioned and. Um, what kind of, you can even see the weight that they play um, and how important they are. So we can close out of that and then now we can move on to the slightly more exciting nodes. <laughs> uh, this will be the text rule builders, the next one. 
and then we're going to split this text filter up in two so you can just um, put it up there and don't need to make any changes for that one either we'll run it though for any of these nodes feel free to kind of make your own changes to any of it really uh, if you feel like you might yeah be able to I'm sure there's a lot that could be better about this entire process so if you think you uh, can find something better then definitely just do it um, okay now this is all run I just want to check that the variables were right in there uh, we'll see hopefully uh, I'll check the results in here hopefully I was able to do it right Okay, so now that that finally booted up, this uh, is what this does is it's going to finally start to relate all those terms and groupings of terms uh, into the um, or relate the, correlate them with the uh, reviews that we have. So the number of the reviews. Um, so we have yeah our five star, two star, our one stars, and you can start to see all the terrible words with one star reviews. But then if we were to look at five star hopefully there's good better words oh, they still look pretty bad perfect local small love and rude okay interesting life bad people celebration um, so this is what you would want to look into a good bit more just to see okay these are yeah what's correlated with the high reviews what's correlated with the bad um, and you can start to figure out uh, what what is yeah mentioned more so um, and it gives you different rules and these like trains and stuff uh, to to try and figure all that out and find 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 things on your own. Um, it obviously doesn't highlight the the majority, but you can just look through and and see. So we'll close that out and then move on to our second to last node. Uh, this one is going to be the text topic. We'll Roll that in there. Connect. Nope. There we go. And then for this one, I think we are, so we're gonna change. Um, this is gonna just uh, group those uh, words into topics basically, and try and label what people are talking about. Um, I like to see the single term ones because this just takes the single words or terms that are talked about most and shows you those as well and then the ten other 10 multi-term um, can show you that as well so 10 and 10 but if you want to make it more and see more of them if you want to see less um, just change that up as you want pick out the results for it and here's this one is where I found most of my insights that would be valuable to present. Um, but again, for you guys, it might might be anywhere else, and just try and find on, honestly your own things because that's what makes the whole case study better. Uh, it doesn't have to be just one single answer. That um, there's definitely no right no right answer. Um, so yeah, here's where we have this. Okay, wow, well, yeah, this is different every time I do it. It's so weird. We have um, a bunch of the single terms that are mentioned most frequently, so you can they're sort it by the docs that they're in. Uh, this tells you their frequency um, or the number of terms as well. That shows you how many terms are in, in a single topic. Um, so you can kind of expand this to see what's in there. Um, this one's mainly talking about the parks. This one's mainly talking about the lines and then maybe the speed or the weights of them. Um, we're here we're talking about people and then yeah you can kind of look into these to see again what people are talking about um, and then what I did was looked at some of these most frequent topics and then um, like some surprising things I found was like that with lines um, when I looked at the actual data set uh, and the reviews that mentioned lines you would think most of those reviews would probably be bad if they're mentioning that, but um, surprisingly, like with that, it was 
most people were speaking highly of the lines and that they weren't too high of weights. So um, something like that is, again, valuable to, to whoever's running the parks um, in that that's one thing that they're doing well. And so maybe they can focus on that a little less and focus on something more or more on something else. Um, or they can you know, continue to do that, obviously continue to do that well um, and find newer improvements if they want to. But yeah, so that's your text topic node. And then if you want, um, we can throw in the text cluster, um, just kind of complete the whole text mining process. Uh, this one isn't totally necessary, but um, again, if depending on what you're looking for, this might give you the things that you're looking for. Um, so it basically just expands on the text topic node. And similarly to uh, with some of the data mining stuff we did in here, uh, maybe in other, in the previous courses, uh, this, instead of just like data points, like maybe the uh, numbers and such, um, it basically takes all those terms and throws them all out on, you know, this, this is my best explanation of it, but throws them all out on a graph and then um, finds the clusters of them that most closely relate and then puts them in there. Um, and then also shows you how closely these groups um, or kind of the topics like we saw before, um, how closely related they are to each other or how far off they are from each other. So it's somewhat helpful, um, but it definitely takes a little bit more uh, digging into. It doesn't really just tell you things uh, right off the bat. Um, so we can just check out the results for that. And then this will be our last part of it. You made it. There we go. Um, so yeah, your results are honestly probably going to look different than this because I don't, I really don't know how I've done this three times almost now. And every time they, it SAS uh, EMs just changes it up on me. So I honestly don't know how to uh, <laughs> produce the same results that I was getting before. I don't know why it keeps changing. It's kind of has its own personality, I guess. But um, so yeah, this is pretty helpful. I don't even know what this first group is. I think this is because it uh, read, yeah, that seems right. It read half of the data set as quotation marks when those all those rows are invalid. So it's not supposed to do that. To, do, to sorry, to do that. So hopefully you don't see that. Um, it didn't. I, that's the main thing I was trying to avoid over and over again in the previous uh, analysis that I did. But the rest of it is helpful even though these percentages aren't what they should be. <laughs> but um, yeah, you can start to look at uh, all of these groupings and some of this is really helpful. Um, Cause yeah, it'll typically be uh, good words or like positive words along with maybe things that they liked. Um, so here's parade, uh, kid. So it helps, I guess, if they have kids with them. <laughs> um, clean. Um, food, good food. So you can start to relate things here and find that, okay, these are things that are, are usually with the things that people are speaking highly of, and then here are the things that people are speaking lowly of. Um, so yeah, that wraps up the entire um, yeah, process in SAS Enterprise Miner. And then the rest of it is just your um, pulling of insights from it. And then again, what, what from this could you tell like the Disneyland California Park Management, hey, these are some areas you should focus on. These are some areas that are uh, really bad or really good. And then your suggestions for what they could do about it. So yeah, thanks for following along. I hope that wasn't too confusing. But um, yeah, that is all.